In this tutorial, I am going to cover data templating. And essentially, I want to take these JSON results I pulled from Facebook and convert them into something that I could present in HTML. Um, this is pretty simply done by taking the content I have in here and wrapping some HTML elements around it and then finally styling them. But in order to do so, we got to do something called data templating. So first, let's just cover some of the requirements you'll need in order to follow this uh, tutorial. First and foremost, you should be able to build something like this on your own. I won't be covering it in this tutorial. And essentially all it is, it's a div container called results, and in there we have an image element, an h1, a p, and another p, two paragraph elements, one that has a class attached to it. And actually, this particular element I actually built in static HTML. And for reasons I'll explain in a bit. The second thing is I did some basic styling to it, and you should be able to do the same. Nothing sophisticated over here. I'm just uh, applying some colors and some floats and some border, uh, border radius elements. And um, everything I'm styling this element with is basic CSS. Probably the more complicated um, or at least more complex element going on here is the getJSON function because uh, in order to actually pull this data you need to be familiar with jQuery's getJSON and of course uh, you need a basic uh, familiarity with um, the Facebook Graph API. Now uh, I'm not doing anything sophisticated besides polling for this information. Um, okay. With those things out of the way, let's actually look at how we're going to build this from this string. So what I've done and what I always do when I do some data templating is first I build it in static HTML. And I uh, essentially just copy and pasted some of the data that I'm going to present on my page from here statically into there. Okay, with that out of the way, this gives me an example of what I actually want my end result to be. Um, but the next thing is now actually let's pump some of these elements into our code. First order business is I'm going to use jQuery to just create this uh, div container called uh, results. Div class equals and then double quotes results. Um, notice how you always use a lot of double quotes in HTML so uh, that's another reason why uh, using single quotes is pretty uh, good with jQuery and then I'm going to close it now uh, just take a look how I actually opened and closed an HTML element within my Java uh, my jQuery selector over here and that's actually what's going to have jQuery build uh, actually create this HTML element out of nowhere um, the next thing I'm going to do is append something and I am going to append the well basically the variables uh, or the values of those uh, variables in here that I want to display on the page. Now, let's take a look. The first thing I want is this image link. And this image link is found in, let's see, in picture. So in order to grab that particular um, element, first I need to go do my FB results because this is what I'm naming my data set from getJSON. And then I need to get that picture let's see I gotta type it in pictures and or picture rather singular and that should do it so that should grab that picture link and now I have it in there alright that's so far so good what's the next thing I wanna grab I need the next element that I'm pulling dynamically from here is this is the actual link to uh, the zombies page which is right here in link so what I'll do next is do append but I'm looking for now this link element so so far now I have those two things okay what else do I need the next order business is actually the name of the page because I have it here as zombies and it's listed here as name so I'll put that in as name good um, finally I have, well not finally, second to last I have the description I believe, the brains, yeah there we go and I'll uh, pop the description in there and finally I have uh, the likes 
and that's what I have down at the bottom over there. I have likes. So, so far, uh, so good. Um, well, actually, we're not done quite yet. We actually, we've created this element, and we've appended a bunch of things to it, but now we actually have to append this element to the page. So, uh, the final thing you do is you do dot append to, and from there, uh, I'm going to append it just to the body because that's where this is going to go. So uh, before I get any deeper into this, let me preview this and make sure that I'm at least getting that that um, that content there. Yes, yeah, save it. Okay, good. So as you see, uh, some of my CSS styles are taking effect on it, but I do have all the content I need. I'm almost there, but now I need to actually do the, the data templating. So we're actually getting to the meat and potatoes of um, the point of this video. So if you look at picture, I know that I have the URL to the picture, which is this part, but I need to wrap it around the rest of the stuff that it has. So that's why I use this as my, um, that's why I create it first in static HTML because I could just simply copy and paste the things that I need. So here at append, uh, I'm going to use the single quotes and I'm going to append this string value in there. And then I could add the plus sign and it's going to add that, then the string, then finally I need to close it right down at the end like that. Don't forget those double quotes in there too. Um, Here's where things can easily get confusing, but if, you, if you're copying and pasting from your source, it makes things a lot easier. Now, uh, okay, so I have the picture, and why don't we save and just take a look as we do it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So my picture actually showed up because I wrapped that uh, IMG element around it. Very good. Let's see what we have next. Now, ah, interesting. So we have on, on this one line we have both the uh, URL for the page which is uh, link and we have the uh, title which is the name so um, really what I should have done here is instead of have that on two lines um, I just add a plus like that and now I have those two elements since they're going to be on the same line okay so let's see, so first at that link that I have, which is right up here, right before the link starts, I have the h1 tag, and I have that href tag. So I'm going to copy that, I'll do my single quotes first, and I'll wedge it in the middle, and of course you need to add to it, you need to add that plus sign, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Maybe for clarity, I'll add some spaces between my pluses, so as you're watching, it's a little easier to follow. So that link works. Um, and what else do I need after that link? I need, um, oh, I need the ending, right? The double quotes and the ending bracket. And so I'll do another plus, double single quotes, and it's put that in the middle okay now we have the name so that's taking part of this that's taking care of this zombies text over here and I just wanna have my anchor link that's closed and my h1 that's closed so after that I'll do I'll add that two single quotes and add it right in the middle and let's see what we got there oh look at that so now I have that as an h1 tag and it's a link. I could just double check. It's working. Very cool. Uh, on my description, well, my description's really easy. It's just ending, starting, and closing a P tag, so that's no problem there. I'll pop that in. And then I add the plus and pop that in. So that's simple. Now my likes, I have to add some content to it, right? Because I'm putting this, the likes just tells you the, the number of people who like it, but I also put like this page. So I'm going to actually, um, yeah, this is simple too. I'm going to take this whole class. I actually, uh, for, for the likes, I defined a specific class for it at the bottom. Um, so I have to add that in there. So I do my double quotes. I add that in there plus and then um, essentially I just go likes this page and that's all I have to do and of course when you do do that 
you're probably in between the first single quote and your first letter over there. You want to add a space, otherwise there's not going to be a space between the likes and what you're adding. And now let's see what that looks like. Ooh, look, nice. Above is my static version, but below is actually my dynamic version that's being pulled by um, that, that jQuery, that get jQuery function. So I could take this out, and I should get just one. Very cool. Data templating at work.